portion. Yeah, he got the bonus victory points. You could obviously start stealing that piece when you know that I, that is the piece I need to score points. But then I'm not getting the piece I want to get points, and I might not want that to actually build where I am. So there's a trade-off then. Touche. <laughs> How's it going everybody? Hashtag just Josh here for another board game review for Unfiltered Gamer. Today we are looking at Cosmic Colonies by Floodgate Games. This is a simultaneous action selection and tile placement game. In this there are uh, several different modes you can play. There's two to five player that is either advanced or basic. Basic to start with, advanced once you get a little better at the game. And there's also a solo player mode variant. When you start playing, you're gonna have your tile you're trying to cover and you're going to have your two slots where you play your action selection. Uh, after you've played your selection, either collecting resources or choosing to build buildings, your buildings are the little tiles you're going to have, you place those on your board trying to cover up different selections that then will get your points later on. There are a total of eight rounds. At the end, you're then going to rack up your score based on your visible tiles and figure out who has the most points. Let's take a look at the game. Here are the components of the game. You have your main board here, along with your tiles you'll be building. When you have to replenish those, just go ahead and take one off the top of the stack. They're exactly the same, so it doesn't really make a difference there. It's all good. You have your resources. You'll be replenishing those throughout the game. You start the game with one per player, so two player game, two of each resource. You also have your decks. You have your basic player deck for when you're learning the game or teaching the players to how to play. You have your advanced deck with markings accordingly. And you have your solo variant along with the solo board. You also have your regular player boards. This is for multiplayer, two to five. You have your uh, little markers right here on the side of the board for your action placement, your first round, your second round. You also have your tiles you'll be building on with all the different various buildings you'll be trying to buy and then build on your asteroid. On the side, you also see a marking where you have your total number of resources you may collect at once. And you have your markings for how many tiles at the end of the game you then have either uncovered or covered, how many points that affords you. And you have your little handy marker here to mark your eight phases for the game. The eight phases are two action placement and one refresh phase, rinse, repeat. You have your colors to pick for each player along the way. Blue, black, usual kind of colors. You have your point tallies here. Depending which card you chose, you get extra fixture points at the end based on the tiles that are provided on that card and how many of those you have on your board, either two points or one point each. How does the turn work? Each player will play one card first as their action choice. Uh, that card will either have a special ability or will have none, depending on what you're playing. And you choose to either build, which means you spend resources already collected to take a tile and put it on your board. Or you collect resources, which means you collect all of one resource from that designated tile. Some of these cards will give you special choices for what to choose and you can actually blend a little bit. Some will give you special actions where maybe you get a little bit of bonus when you build and collect at the same time, something like that. When you build a new tile, you need to make sure that your new tile touches your buildings that have already been built on your asteroid. You cannot build non-adjacent to what you already have in the way of structures. Once you've played one of your cards on your turn, everyone plays at the same time. Those will go face down. You will then play a second card for your action choice. Remember, your action order goes by the number on the card, lowest number first, and then count up as you know, needed. The, after the second card is played, you will place that face down. And they have those little handy dandy markers there. Then that is the end of the first half of that round. The second half is refreshing, which was that means you then take the tiles, refill anything needed, and then refill your resources as the appropriate for the number of players in the game. After you've refreshed, you move the marker, and then once you've finished all eight rounds, then you count up how many spaces you have covered or uncovered, figure out your points here, and highest point total wins. So Cosmic Colonies by Floodgate Games. Fun game, new take on tile placement. A little crazy in the concept, because who's gonna build a colony on an asteroid? You're hurtling through space in a void of nothing. Who knows when you're gonna hit a, you know, a sun or a star or a planet or something like that. Can you even build things on an asteroid? If it's big enough, maybe, but you're not going to have any kind of sustained environment because you're, you don't have a sun, you're just... Well, there's definitely no water. I mean, there's very few planets that actually have water. You might have ice. Earth. You might have ice, oh. but you're going to have to melt it then and make sure it's and clean. is so. that ice going to actually be H2O or will it be some kind of other type of ice? Likely it will still be like some form of H2O, maybe something else blend in, but we'll see because... Who I knows? mean, do you like the fact that who I just knows? jumped in for a review here? Yeah, just I do, actually. In. Mike just 
Just there. That's right. That's how we do camera <laughs> magic here. And we were talking about the game Cosmic Colonies. Uh, this is a new game by Floodgate, and uh, like you were saying, it's a action management or simultaneous action action placement where you're flipping over cards, and from the lowest number to the highest number is going to be pe people are going to be doing their actions. You can choose to build or collect, and some cards are more better than others when it comes Ooh, to building and collecting. More better. That's right. Oh, God, betters and mores. Mores and Regardless, I do want to say that I like the fact that the tiles, <laughs> honestly, like the it's a cool little placement where yeah, you, you space agey looking kind of tiles that you know, you're building your entertainment complex or your living complex or you know different things, and you need the right resources to build each. You can't just build you know whatever you want willy nilly. The so. first time we played this game, we didn't actually make the tiles connect to each other. We just played wherever we want. We did very well. Oh, we had high high scores. It was great, but yeah, if we could build, you can't do that. Uh, yeah, you need to be adjacent to what, what you've already built. You need to build on either the first piece when you're in the beginning, obviously, and then from there just kind of build out from that center like complex that center structure. It's yeah. fairly simple though. I mean, you're mm -hmm. literally just playing cards, flipping them over and placing them down. And for the base mode of the game, it is that simple. Like there's a couple unique twists to the cards that you can play. There's some of them are actions. Some of them yeah. are better than others and others are better when you use a specific action. But if you want to build with a card that gives you a build action, you you're good to go. Good to go. Yeah. Now, if you want to collect, you can. You're just not going to get that bonus action, which yeah. is interesting because you have a certain... Well, it depends where you are in the game. Like Sometimes you might really want to build, but you just don't have the resources because you burned them all last turn. So You have you a certain select, 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 select collection of cards that you may want to get rid of early, too. Like, yeah. I don't want this card. I'm going to play it so I don't see it for another three rounds. Oh, yeah, because you, you start with four cards, and you, you, know, you burn two per... So you're only replenishing enough to just to get your hand back up to, you know, like the four. And you might never play a card in your hand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There was two cards in my hand I didn't like, so I just didn't, didn't play them. You sit on them for the entire game then, yeah. It's not like a game where you can, you know, draw extra cards, get five, six cards in your hand, like, oh, okay, I'll pick two, you got a lot more options then. No, you're only going to have that, so. This is a mid-weight game, and when you play with the advanced mode, it pushes it closer to the middle. Like, it's like mid-light, and it pushes it more to a mid-game when you play with the advanced mode. The now, advanced some of the mode cards, cards are based on, okay, is this the first or the second uh, action selection, so. Yeah, you've got, limited, like the, you got, like, limited. the moon phase, and then you have the sun phase. Yeah. And based on what phase, how you're going to be playing these actions, and they'll provide you with unique twists to it. And if you don't want to play those, there's also the solo mode to the game, which is nice when you have no friends like Josh over here. <laughs> I'm over here, aren't I? Oh, that's true. Well, mm -hmm. I'm not that great of a friend just played, by making that statement. Well, I haven't played the solo mode. Who has? Okay, I played the solo so mode. So who's actually crying Andrew's beer? I did enjoy the game. I did enjoy this <laughs> game quite a bit. I like the solo mode as well, but I prefer playing games, if I can, with multiple players. It's just more fun. And this one does yeah. a very good job of doing that. And it goes up to five. It's rare. A lot of games stop at four, so I like that it goes to five. I guess my critique on this game is that the tile placement is a game I've seen before many times as far as building on certain areas to collect points and choosing to build in the correct area. Areas. And then, of course, simultaneous action selection is nothing new to me either. You're placing them down, you're flipping them over, and you're doing whatever they say. But what is unique is the combination of both of those type of mechanics in this game. So you're and utilizing they them. seamlessly. They're yeah, they do. They together really well. They do work very well. And the game is really simple to understand once you've basically played it over one time. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, Fast pickup. there's definitely certain tiles in the game that are easier to get. So yes. specifically, I noticed my one critique as far as gameplay goes, this long tile here you can have three wilds lot. it's two of any two, one tile and a then one and of it, yeah, a pair yeah. and a single and there's also an objective card like this one here or better yet i think if i can find it here there's the one where this is worth two points yeah. So this is going to be card, that's cool. way easier to score points because this one has a lot more flexibility when gathering resources. Yeah. And I'm not exactly sure why why it is they did that. Because, like, for example, this one that has two points for the square, the square is two specific resources and one specific resource. As opposed to anything you want. I mean, uh, yeah, that's not really balanced. So you're gonna that's a little off. It felt like it. I don't necessarily know, but it just felt like it to me and specifically to my opponents because I did better being able to get the easier piece. Now, of course, yeah, you get the bonus victory points. You the could obviously start stealing that piece when you know that I, that is the piece I need to score points. But then I'm not getting the piece I want to get points, and I might not want that to actually build where I am. So there's a trade off then. Touche. <laughs> uh, the artwork for the game is very nice. Yeah. You do feel like you are building colonies on a yeah. on a on an asteroid. You're placing and the boards are two sided for the regular and advanced mode, and you know they're random pieces. So these are uh, Tetris yeah. themed style games. We're mm -hmm. using those uh, Tetra or whatever they're called. 
I don't Tetris know. style blocks. Yeah, yeah, those those it's very popular right now, and for good reason. I really personally enjoy them. I played a it ton of games well. lately like yeah. them. My wife was gonna make a game involving these, and I'm like, I just we we reviewed a ton of these games because they're so they're <laughs> like they're like the hotness right now, and for good reason. Uh, the designer, this is Scott Alms, and Tristan Rosin is the uh, artist. Scott Alms does a lot of the tiny epic stuff. Ooh, if I'm I if like I'm right, games. I'm fairly certain I'm right. Tiny fairly Epic's certain. Fun. Um, the game is seamless. It plays really nice. There's mm -hmm. only a couple of little qualms I have as far as gameplay goes, but it's pretty straightforward. I guess it might feel stale over a period of time for certain people. It's you possible. You play a pretty good amount with you know, enough groups. Well, there's a ton of replayability. Like it's just, yeah. do you want to be playing down boards, cards and placing cards. down yeah. the, the the asteroids, placing them yeah. down? That's because that's that's pretty much what it is. Straight up, that's you're, you're playing cards and placing these things down and doing your best to yeah. fill the board to your potential. Are you somebody that likes uh, Galaxy Trucker? Because honestly, it's similar to that in the way it has that it's feel. Very, yeah, it's going to be very like, uh, similar to replay value, unless you add like maybe like a house rule or something. It's so. not extremely aggressive. No. And it's yeah, more... Yeah, don't take that mechanic, unless yeah. you really want to hate draft, but that'd be kind of tanking yourself too. Certain cards will let you place down little buildings on your board, which is very nice when you want to oh, fill in certain yeah. areas. Especially when you're not connecting the blocks and following the rules. <laughs> then they're really nice. I need all the blue covered. Cool. Like I need just a dot here and a dot here. Got it. So <laughs> certain cards have those kind of benefits as well. And of course, playing the advanced version <laughs> of the game is what I would recommend, especially for people who are like us that play games yeah. way too much or just enough. Not enough or just enough. I don't know. One of those. Overall, solid artwork. Really fun game. Mm -hmm. Couple few qualms here and there, but I really Could enjoyed really the game you. Cosmic Colonies. Um, yeah. This is one I think that will stay on my shelf for a while. Floodgate games. Callie likes these type of puzzle games. I'm terrible at them, but this one I really enjoy. I love playing puzzle. I like challenging Callie because she is good. So yeah. So overall, how many asteroids out of? Uh, I'd give it out of Mars. <laughs> out of Mars, I'd give it three and a half asteroids out of five for asteroids. Why out of Mars? I don't know. Do asteroids circle Mars? They're all over the universe. Okay. <laughs> I give it a solid three asteroids because we're doing ratings now okay as of just just for this video apparently sure what do you think down below in the comments Let about cosmic colonies is a game you'll pick up if it is go ahead and click the link in the description you're supposed to say I thought you were going to put the below. box over my head just to cover me I don't think they can there's no link that you can click here all right guys down below uh, let's let's do the outro Thanks for being with me again for another board game review. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Every Wednesday, we're on stream on Facebook and on Twitch at 6.30 PST. And we have a website up, so make sure you check out the website. I've got some blogs. There's Callie's Corner. There's all kinds of giveaways to check out, so make sure you take a look at that and click everything you possibly can. We want clicks. And my blog. Read my blog repeatedly because I want more views. So that way I can rub it in the mic. That I'm getting more hits on my content than he is. So please help me out. We got this. That's not happening. <laughs> we'll try. Okay. Well, until next time, I will see you on an asteroid sometime in the future. Next time. <laughs>